Good morning. Good morning, YouTube. I made the mistake of putting coconut oil on my hair before I was gonna film this video this morning. I don't know why I did that, but it's probably gonna look really greasy for the rest of the day. Nick is actually at boxing class right now, and I wanted to surprise him with a really nice breakfast that we both like. Um, I kind of feel like I've been not the best girlfriend lately. Not a bad girlfriend, but kind of like an irritable girlfriend. Um, I've been off work for the last three weeks because of my surgery, and I've kind of been just going like stir crazy at home and I feel like I've taken a little bit of that frustration out on my boyfriend so I'm trying really hard to be positive and to bring that positivity back into my relationship um, so I'm actually gonna be making blueberry ricotta pancakes and these are very special to both of us because when I was living in New York and Nick was in LA before I moved to Los Angeles we would always go to this restaurant called Little Dom's and get the ricotta pancakes for breakfast and it was kind of like a tradition every time I would come out to LA we would go there for breakfast and I just remember that one of us would always get the ricotta blueberry pancakes. So I'm gonna recreate those today. I have made them at home a couple times before and they are absolutely so good. One more thing before I start this video. This is literally what our house looks like right now. And I honestly hate filming when things aren't clean and organized, but um, our foster kitten Ruby peed on the couch a couple of times. So we pretty much had to just like take it apart. Um, Nick and I have been putting this air mattress down and watching TV at night with like this camping chair and the air mattress. I wish that it wasn't the case, but this is the reality of our life right now. Okay, so these are all the ingredients that we're gonna use. It's pretty much just some basic ingredients, some fresh blueberries, ricotta cheese, baking powder, baking soda, flour, um, sugar, salt, eggs, a lemon, and I realized that we didn't have any milk. Um, we never actually used dairy milk, so I just made some cashew milk quickly, and we're gonna use that as well. So if you guys are interested in trying this, then I'm gonna leave all of the instructions in the description box below, and we are gonna get started. Stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks. All right, so we have our first batch of pancakes cooking, and I'm also making um, some of these vegan sausage. Nick and I both really like these. The brand is called Field Roast. These are so good. They also don't contain any soy, so if you're avoiding soy, they're really delicious. I also cut up some watermelon, and I got all the condiments, some butter, vegan butter, maple syrup, honey. This is like some plum jam that Nick's mom made. It's really, really good with the plums that she grows in her backyard. Let's see if I can flip one of these while recording. Um, that is the perfect pancake. Yes. All right, so we got our first batch. We killed it with this recipe. You know what kind they are? Though? They're special pancakes. Um, blueberry ricotta. Yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> Is it good? Oh my god, so good. It's about 1.30 now, um, a couple hours after we ate breakfast, and I am currently snacking on the watermelon that I cut up for breakfast, which neither of us ate because we were so full from the pancakes, and I am waiting for Nick to get home so that we can make lunch together. There's a really loud garbage truck like right outside my window. Today has been a super lazy day. <laughs> That's not for you, baby. Ruby! No matter how many pets that we have in the future, I will always have such a special bond with Hannah Lee. Like, I feel like there's always like one pet that you have in your lifetime that you just have a special bond with. I know it sounds stupid, but Hannah Lee is definitely that cat for me. All right, so explain what you're gonna be doing. You're making um, a salsa right now? Yeah, pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. So I realized I didn't actually tell you guys what we're making. Um, Nick, what are we making? Tostadas. Toast tostadas. I feel like if there's any 
chefs that are gonna watch this are gonna talk a bunch of trash on my cutting technique and I just wanna say right now you can keep it to yourself. <laughs> I think it's a fine cutting technique. Looks like a pretty good ratio. Now for you guys watching, you're gonna wanna not touch your penis after handling jalapenos. Nick. <laughs> and for you girls, you're gonna wanna not touch your guy's penis after handling jalapenos. Is this gonna be really spicy for no, me? No, 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 it'll be fun. Okay. That looks so tasty. It's pretty good. And yeah. then I'll just grab a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna. So just onions, tomatoes, cilantro, lime, and salt. Good job. All right, so we're also heating up some refried beans on low heat. And we have sliced up some avocado over here too. And by we, I mean Nick is actually doing all of the work. Is this first one gonna be mine? Yep. Um, and this is gonna be completely vegan for my portion because I'm gonna be using this vegan cheese. Um, and if you guys live in California, I highly, highly, highly recommend this cheese. They might actually sell it at other locations as well, and I know you can order it online, um, but it is by Parmela Creamery. Um, so yeah, highly recommend. It's made from cashews, does not contain soy, and I'm gonna use this on my tostada. So I was planning on making these for lunch regardless, but Nick was supposed to work, and he didn't end up having to work, so he's home and making them with me, but I was inspired to make these because he made them for like a snack the other day, or was it dinner? Oh, he made them for dinner the other day and it was unexpectedly really, really good, easy, and just like basic ingredients and very tasty. So we are making them again right now. Another crucial component here is the second best beverage on earth, the first being coffee, obviously, but Topo Chico, it's Mexican, Sparkling mineral water. It's like super, super carbonated because it always gives me hiccups, but it is very good. Really good. All right. You're gonna wanna frost the tortilla with beans. All right. Do a little, uh, a little of this. Take some of this weird ass cheese. You like that cheese too. Sometimes. It's, it's really good. It's not as good as real cheese. All right, whatever. I think it's really good. If you're a vegan and you haven't had cheese in like 30 years, it's probably pretty insanely good. <laughs> you don't want to get too much of the juice because it's just going to make the whole dish kind of soggy. That's our neighbor's kid saying hi. <laughs> That's literally our neighbor's kid like trying to scream to us through the door. So this is um, lunch. It looks really good. Very good presentation, but slightly off center on the plate. <laughs> Still off center. <laughs> okay, perfect. actually gonna have a tiny bit of ice cream for dessert even though I'm really full um, there's this place called magpies on the east side in Los Angeles and they make um, a couple of vegan ice creams that are really really good this one is actually my favorite the corn almond flavor and I also have the chocolate coconut which is really good too all right, I actually ended up doing the chocolate and the vanilla one um, and by the way I think I said it was ice cream but it's actually frozen yogurt and I'm going to add some of these butterscotch rice krispies that are so good. And then I also made candy nuts last night for a salad, so I'm going to add a couple of those as well. And look at that. It's about 6 o'clock right now, and I'm meeting up with Nick's mom um, to do some kind of a bookmaking workshop with one of her friends. And I think that they're gonna have dinner there, so I'll keep you guys posted. Um, Nick's mom is like super, super, super healthy. So since today hasn't been my most healthy eating day, at least um, hopefully dinner will be somewhat healthy. Okay, so for dinner I'm having just like a little vegan plate, have some kale salad, some quinoa salad, 
some crackers and vegan cheese and then a little bit of like cucumber salad and yeah this is not food that i made but looks pretty good so this is probably going to be my last post on this video for the night um i am currently in my living room on the air mattress waiting for nick to come in so he can take his position in the camping chair and we can watch some tv before we go to bed this lighting is so not good for me i can tell because it really shows how badly i'm breaking out but also i'm having like a crazy episode of rosacea if you guys struggle with rosacea you already know that the struggle is so real so i'm eating this popsicle and you guys know how i feel about popsicles but i really love these because they are just made from fruits and vegetables um but yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and for cooking with me and i hope you're all having an amazing night and i can't wait to see you in my next video so i will talk to you then